Oh y'all, I, I spread my outside linebacker out there so I can have two guys out there and I put my safety out there. So there's three on two out there just in case he tries to distract. But my safety clearly uh went backwards because he was in a uh, deep deep half. So in order to make that not uh, for the safety not to do that, you got to put him like in a spy or a zone that's going to the right or something. So he's starting off running the ball good. Uh, this formation is a powerful formation. A lot of the, the top players use this formation to run out of, especially with uh, San Francisco. It's powerful. See, I, I bring everybody in so that way they, they can shoot in uh, better. No, you know, I, I always send them dogs, man. I send seven. I, I do a lot of gambling, man. I'm, I'm a gambling man, so I do a lot of gambling. And I just and I rely on my stick to, to bail me out of things. So if you ain't got a stick, man, you, you can't just you can't just uh be blitzing all the time. I love these the spread formations. Yeah, you know, whenever I go against some spread formations, I, I send the heat. That's like my favorite. Kick that ball. Yeah, and the first thing I did was uh, fumble the ball, man. So I get a good stop on him. I got a good yard line after that good interception. Then this happens. This is crazy. Yeah, my safety did a good job of uh, shutting that block. We didn't shut that block. That, that was looking kind of lovely for him. You see, I put that middle linebacker outside. The, the middle linebacker on the outside as well at the end. I'm looking to set him up for another interception. Bam. And I get another interception on another setup. See, he's thinking everything's sweet because the way my guys are on the outside like that. And I know that. So that's why uh, I set him up for that. So I can get those interceptions I do. Those are set up interceptions. Those are, those are called bait interceptions. I'm, I'm trying to have him throw there. And this right here, I don't, I don't know what happened. Like, I have him beat. My guy's 97 speed. Ward ain't no more than 90, 91, and 92 speed tops. If he's even, if he's even that, there's no way that he should be able to have, have caught him like that. That's just crazy to me, man. But nevertheless, that's what happens. He was running the ball actually good. Niners is a hard team to stop their run. A lot of top players that run, they're using their Niners, man. They're, they're tough to, to stop. Ooh, that guy was just a little too slow, man. This game's been like a no huddle game type of game. So I'm trying to get a setup right here, man, because. I need it. That was a great tackle by my corner. I'm trying to set him up for a pick, man, because he's either going to send these guys on the routes or he's going to block them. And I think he's going to send them on the routes, so I'm sending them dogs. He doesn't. For that run. Right now I'm playing for that run. I know that's what he's gonna be doing. Ooh, and they're doing a good job of stopping this run. Yes, they is.
See, I'm blitzing that corner just in case he wants to go that side. So there you go, he gets that touchdown. All right, so I come out with this ball, man. It's time to get busy. I don't know what that was about. The controller had messed up. So I had a, a perfect run to the outside. I don't know how many yards would have got, but I could have easily ran though to the outside. Hmm. Get a little shaky on, on that. He's out there running. He's running my defense. You know, he's trying to he's trying to blitz everybody, and he's trying to put everybody back in coverage. You know what I mean? The way he's setting them up, squeeze them in. So he's doing a lot of coverage. Sneak is too big. Catches on the crossing route. So I go ahead and just run the ball right up that middle. Alright. So this time I have him in zones. And I'll be the middle linebacker to go over to shift on that side to help out on the run. Peters does a good job of getting off the uh the block. If he doesn't get that, then it's tough for me. Oh, now I'm sitting in that heat, man. I'm going to try to bet him into a, another interception. Sitting in the heat and trying to bet him to interception, man. Bam! Get that because he just, he just, he's not blocking enough players. The most he can block is six. If I bring seven, for sure he's going to get in. And I know this. So now it's about leading him to, uh, to pass it where I want him to throw it at this stage. I got four uh, quarters. I don't want nothing deep to get me. There you go. That heat gets in. Can't come out on these formations on me, man. I, I, I like these kind of formations up all day. Like I said, I'm going to light this up. Fourth and 22, the best thing he can do is get a deep pass. It's the only thing he's going to try to do. I got everything covered. He can have that. He can have that. Yeah, I ain't worried about that. He can have that. I don't know why he even went for that. Fourth and 22, to just throw that route. He should at least attempted to throw it deep. Anyways, I'm coming with my corner routes. Probably going to hit the running back. Now I gotta hit the, the corner. Corners were wide open. Both of the corners were. Nice, good possession catch too. Yeah, I started off bad this this game. I mean, he had a great chance of winning because he could have started off good, but he let me come back. Ooh, I tried to escape there. There you go. Got him to the corner. That's a great tippy toe, man. And I need that too, cause third and twenty-seven, third twenty-eight. Now it's fourth and four. That was big. And he gets a big time stop. So this is I'm playing horrible this game offensively. Defensively, I'm doing good. But offensively I'm doing horrible. So I'm gonna set him. I think he's gonna do a slant here. So this is why I, I got the middle linebacker, and I go right after the slant. The touchdown I didn't get, I made up for with defense. Yeah, ended up kicking a really good kick. <laughs> really good kick. He goes right out of bounds with it. That's perfect. This is where I want him again. Where I know my heat's gonna come in once again. 
Okay, he tries to throw his screen. I run over there and bottle that up. I did the timeout for him because I want him to throw this ball. Because I feel his interception time. I love when people are in this formation. Oh, and he, and he's a, almost taking that to the crib, oh, man. I got lucky right there. So come on, more spread formation. He ends up getting a good uh, sack. Way too long. Great catch, great slant. And that's right on Sherman, too. I'm not scared to go, go on Sherman. There you go. A little, uh, little double route with the running back. Get a little double route with the running back. So that was good. So I stay in this formation because I'm, I'm cooking with this formation. So I'm going to stay in this formation. Get, did a good job of blitzing everybody and sack us. Did a good job of blitzing everybody and sacking me. So I seen a little weakness. Gets a sack. Got no choice but to hit him deep because he's bringing the safety down. If he's not open, Sneed will be open. If Brown's not open, Sneed will be open. I'm blocking them two. I might hit Roberts. That was big. The linebacker just stopped. So fourth and one, you know the best thing is to guard uh, read option with with, uh, with LJ. You know that's the safest thing. I haven't done it in a long time, so I can pick up one good yardie. He held him to that ball good. So right here, I'm, I'm going to keep it kind of short and simple, you know. Hit these little uh, in routes, five-yard in routes. I'm doing double in routes. And he's been coming out, and it's 3-4 a lot, but he, he hasn't really uh hasn't really blitzed too much. So, so third and five. I gotta get uh, hit, hit my running back or my tight end. That's what I'm thinking. Where my running back's open. I guess a lot of people leave that running back open. A lot of people leave that running back open. He's a good uh, read to hit, especially around the goal line. Doing double route. With A, with A doing an out and in. Mm, great catch. We needed that. Mm, blitz the corner right there. Now I'm in my, my nickel. So my nickel's a little bit more spread. Oh, I over overrun it, over pursuit, but that was a good defense. I bring everybody inside because I want them to shoot in right away. Watch, you'll see what I mean if he, if he runs the ball. Okay. Oh, he passes it. But I happen to be right there in the middle. To intercept that, take that to the crib. My defense was was excellent this game. It was my offense that was messing me up. 
And that's GG's, y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Hopefully y'all learned something from this video.